Hello, welcome back. Red McNed here. And we got to take care of a couple things. That's one of them. And I I can't point down to the hunger bar. I I end up doing this. <laughs> All right. Got to get some food. So it looks like there's one. So that's, that's take a care of bull. Take care of a bull. Yeah. Let's take take her up and caber, and we'll. Oh look, no, no, don't look. I <laughs> had a little accident just then. But we're gonna, in order to uh, get help with that, I need to contact an old an old friend, and to do that, we need to make something. It and it may or may not require gold. Oh, boom! Yeah, that I knew that was going to be fun. So let's get the gold going really fast. We need to make a device for communicating. I'm going to plant these seeds really fast. Oh man, this this is this everything is taking a toll on the hunger. I'm gonna have to resort to rotten flesh. I was hoping I could get at least one more piece of wheat. There's no bones about it. I could go kill a wabbit. Uh, uh. Now nah, I'll do the. Uh, I'll do the waiting game here. I bet I could stay alive long enough to get one more of these. Like that one, that one wants to be ready. That one wants to be ready. Maybe that one. Oh, yes. Whew. It only took for for amazingly long time. That was way more stressful than I thought it would be. Just and oh, don't get me wrong. Watching grass grow, unbelievable. It's just as interesting as you th as you think it would be. But like being on edge, thinking, oh crap, <laughs> you know. You never know if something's going to be around the corner to say, hey, I'm going to blow up now. And that is that is not what you want to be thinking about. I guess I could have slept. Looking back, I could have slept. Oh, well. So my strategy is eat all these. And then... Eat the bread for the saturation. I don't know if being poisoned makes your hunger go down. I'm too scared to move. And confused. I'm mostly too confused. I have like writer's block, but instead of just writing a story, it's just what, how to exist. All right, I think I'm good. And was that enough time for this? Yes, it was. So if if this is confusing right now, it'll uh, it'll maybe make sense what I'm trying to do. So let's see, making an anvil. And quite possibly one of my favorite sounds in the game. Where did I put this thing? Mm. 
Yeah. And let's see if I uh, can do this right. I'm going to uh, magically take this, what well, would be a normal clock, and I'm gonna wave this around this and da 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 look away look away um Ah, I want to say inter interdimensional communication portable phone. You know, let's just make it an acronym. Interdimensional communicating portable phone. There we go. And you know, interpro. Oh, okay, cool. So. Look, look what we have here. We have a a device that we have. It is for communicating interdimensionally. And we're going to use this to call up an old friend. The trouble would usually be the fact that this old friend exists in another dimension. But with the with the help of science, we can we can call up <clears throat> this person. Oh, I'm kind of excited. Uh, shake it a little bit. I think that's how you turn it on. Uh, he he hello? Who is this? This is uh, me. Or, uh, well, kind of you. Uh, 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 do, you do you remember when you were building the toilet? Yeah, I remember. I slipped and almost fell in. Right. Well, uh, I'm I'm the version of you that did fall into the toilet, see, and I I may have had a few under pearls on me, <laughs> um, but I was teleported out of your world and into this other seemingly parallel but different plane of existence with its own rules, and uh, I made this interdimensional communicating portable phone and. I'm talking to you now. Okay, that sounds good. I can dig it. Yeah, dude. Anything's possible in creative mode. Oh, cool. So what's up? Oh, well, uh, I, I'm i calling because I could use some uh, help. I tried to build a, uh, a house and... Y yeah, I need your help. Oh, all right, man. Uh, let's see what you got. Uh, I'd, I'd rather not. Oh, come on! I can't help you if you don't show me. <sighs> I'm still waiting. This is it. So. I, um, hmm. Uh, 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 do, do you know what a house looks like? Like, you, you, you've seen one. Ever? Well, no, but never mind. I'll, I'll see what I can do. Uh, tell me a little bit about what you're going for exactly. Well, uh, that... This is going to be this is going to be a mining town. And this this area is going to be more of a village for the workers to live and come home to when not at work. So they'll have a lot of stone and quite a bit of wood, so birch and oak. And this will probably be where the food is grown and uh livestock taken care of. So yeah, does does that help? Yeah, I think I got into uh, something that could help you out. 
Um, I actually have a, a few ideas over here that uh, I can um, I can probably teach you. Uh, I think the these are a few designs by a couple uh, YouTubers I like. The ones on the outsides are by Madness64, and the one in the middle is Lord Docker, or is it Dark Docker Lord? Oh, it's kind of embarrassing. What a, I can't remember. I'll, I'll put it the, the names in the descriptions. So, I, anyways, here's this. This is kind of a nice uh, one-story uh, design for a house, and. I really liked this one because it's kind of detailed, but it's not too crazy. It uses the same materials that you mentioned. Um, this this one's a little bit more detailed, a little bigger, but it kind of gets a little bit fancier. Um, it still it utilizes the same stuff, and what I like about this one is it comes with an interior. to get you started. And I'll I'll go over similar things <laughs> to this. But I thought this was all really nice and clever. It's got like little little rooms. This is supposed to be a toilet. That's kind of strange, but you know, it's even stranger not to have one. And then a uh, nice master room. Look at that! They even even put it in a closet. Isn't that cool? And a nice balcony. Can't leave it though. I have to smash through. Ugh. one's nice because it shows a bit more uh, asymmetrical build ideas and designs. Nothing's quite on top of each other and makes for a more kind of windy, natural kind of house design. And putting all three of these builds together, I've come up with three designs that I would like to teach you to get you on your way. So as we go down this nice path, you can see them at a see them all kind of, you know, being houses, being housey and stuff. And there's a lot of things that you can mix and mix and match and take from each of these. But the ideas will be there. They will be taught. And really, that's the best way, I think, that you can learn how to build. At least build a better house than whatever you call a house over there. See, these are the same planner boxes. It's the other one. But, you know. It's, well, I'll, ex I'll explain all of these in, in greater detail. This, this one uses more of the asymmetry. That type of style to get interesting uh, designs as well as the roof so let's just dive right into this so the main things I liked about those builds back there were the walls of well I guess this design the, the fact of coming up with the layout of the building before you do anything else and I liked having the three wide sections and also the um, indentions for uh, whatever have you. <laughs> they ended up looking nice. So here's one idea. I'm going uh, three tall on all of these, and there's three. They're going to be four tall, actually, so I might as well do that. But these are all three apart for any of these. So 
So for the sake of uh, the sake of thoroughness, whilst we map, actually, you know, what? I'll I'll map this out first. So um, let's go for three. Uh, let's see. This one, I'll go ahead and do more of a straight line to here. We'll we'll see what kind of uh, fun we can we can get into. Uh, <laughs> this is going to be strange, strange indeed. But I guess that's the point of some of these. Oh, we we'll probably do this. <clears throat> and all of these will be four high. Next would uh, be a uh, adding some cross beam action. So kind of connecting all of these. I'm going to use this kind of design. But going up to and then having it taper toward the middle. for this one so sort of floating over here is going to be a piece of <clears throat> piece of the roof it's going to go up in a very similar way with two over there and two here and then it's going to come in let's see to a two wide point. I think that'll be good to continue. Hmm, that kind of argues with this a little bit. I can live with that though. Let's bring this in a little bit. So that's a, a pretty interesting outline. <laughs> so the next thing we can do is give it some hmm, some roofs. So why not? And I I like the uh, this more style of roof. I think this will go go good with it. This is the uh, the third house's kind of style. And this is with oak slabs, no oak 
all of its oak. Okay, it's oak A. Oops. Well, at least this will be a unique, a very unique looking house. <laughs> you know, maybe miners, miners and woodsmiths or woodcutters and minesmiths, maybe they, uh, they don't have to be really practical about their houses. Maybe that's what's going down. <laughs> so I'm going to do something like this with all of these. I'm going to do similar things as before. I'm going to put a step on each of these and connect them across on both sides. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this this way just to one. Actually, let's let's go all the way. See what that looks like. If you don't know about connecting really complicated roof sections like this, I would say start from the top sometimes. Whatever one's the, the toppest. The highest, toppiest section. And let's see. Technically it'd be that one over there. So it's this is gonna let's add the extra layer here. And that's going to come out to Let's go ahead and bring it to here for now. Fill the rest of this in. Actually, let's bring this out one too. The design is somewhat consistent. <laughs> Oops. Extend it little by little. It looks like this is going to probably need to stop right here. I think we could have it stop there. <clears throat> In that case, I'm going to put a solid block underneath this and a step. There we go. Nice and pretty. So I went a little too far with this one. So, but we can do something like this. And that meets up with that. I'm going to bring these into the corner. 
And roofs are always, uh, they're always interesting. Let's do the same thing for this little thing right here. We'll start on the top. Come around. And I think we're going to go ahead and bring this the rest of the way out. Yeah. So this is going to be interesting, definitely. If it wasn't already, if you weren't thinking to yourself, this is a strange looking little place. But then again, that's, that's kind of nice to be different, you know? So this this one might turn out being one of the more eccentric designs that uh can come up with. Nice skylight. <laughs> as far as this, we can go with the design of let's see, how does a lighter lighter wood look? We can go for something like that. Yeah, it looks pretty uh, typical looking. This is a mining village, so it would not be too much of a stretch to have something like this. And if that happened everywhere, it could actually look really nice. So let's, let's try that. What will probably happen is this will be this this will be more of a mix and match of ideas and you can do them in different ways as you see fit. That's kind of what I'm doing right now. Like um one of the biggest things that can help with building in general is build a couple people's designs and take pieces you like out of each. Like, I'm using the three-wide system. That's going to help a lot with the down area, downstairs areas. But I really like the roof design of the third place. So I'm kind of... And also the, uh, the asymmetrical nature of it, where it's... Uh, clearly there's things going in strange spare areas. And I also like the depth of the uh, middle one. So we'll probably do stuff with that. Just for completeness, bring each of these beams up. If you see a beam, bring it up. <laughs> now this is the part where, sorry, sorry, sorry. You can get rid of that one. Double sorry, 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 sorry. We're going to get rid of that too. <laughs> and put... Let's see. Probably something like this. So wherever that is. That'll that'll work. This cross beams would look something like this. Oh, whoa, whoa. Get a little something like this. I'm getting sloppy with my flying around. Uh, these guys... Next, I'm going to kind of repeat this pattern here a little bit. Like, that's going to be all stone. Cobblestone. This is not going to be seen. <laughs> We're going to play little tricks on people, see if they notice. I'm 
people probably will, so whoops. <laughs> that looks good. I was thinking about also, since this alternates like a checkerboard almost, doing something like this. Not sure. I think I'll go with the original. Once again, a lot of trial and error happens, and that's not a bad thing. Now for the bottoms, I really liked what the middle house was doing. Let's take another look at that. Yep, that's us taking a look at it. This house is going to have quite a bit of depth to it by the time everything's said and done. So these are going to be building the squares for each of these. Just because I don't like things popping up in uh, hidden places, I like to fill these in. We'll go ahead and have uh, these filled in like that. So there's still the depth from the outside. Except this one. This one doesn't get the depth for some reason. Well, whatever. This will be the door. So people can get in the, th the, the, the place. Once again, filling that in. <laughs> you ever know if a creeper is going to decide to spawn in that exact little area. Alright, so that's starting to look pretty interesting. I left some holes right here. Oops. Alright, that's pretty nice. If you want to put glass in those, I bet they would look good too. similar too. So if I wanted to just go ahead and do the same thing even, I probably could. I wouldn't be afraid about stuff like, oh, I'm copying this person or whatever. I think that's really how you learn, is you start off learning someone else's style, and then eventually you start to make it your own. So we're also going to do this with the types of builds that we come up with. Like a variation could be doing this even. Or another one could be this. It seems kind of weird if they're all in the same uh, in the same build, so I'll keep it consistent. Hmm, let's go ahead and knock this out. Alright, that's some pretty interesting stuff going on. So if this does become a balcony... Let's take the half slabs now and... Uh, little railing. When you come inside, it's quite spacious actually. Oh yes, this part. Well, we can go ahead and fill that in right there. I will probably just fill this in. I like the idea of these things. Because it lets the the build kind of keep the wood showing. Look at that, it's dark out, so it's a perfect time to, uh, to see what these look like. I didn't have to fill that in. <laughs> I thought it looked a little strange, but it might be okay.
That's pretty interesting, actually. I was wondering what we could do with this. Oops, not that. Maybe something like that. And this might seem odd right now. But maybe it won't later. <laughs> that's that's the hope. If we put the floor in, it'll actually help quite a bit. So I'm going to do that really fast. Well, that's great now, but there's not really much of a way up. So maybe we can utilize a wall or a corner that looks a little strange anyways. Like, say, maybe this one. All we really need is three spots for stairs. And we're up. So you have something like this. And if I wanted to make this a little bit more complete looking, probably throw a torch down on these. <laughs> That's uh, still a funny thing. Hilarious, no? <laughs> oh, that's the stairs. Okay. Torch placement will always will always be impeccable. This is kind of cheaty. <laughs> Have a little thing that walk over it, <laughs> but that can still work. That's on the inside, we don't need that. <laughs> and go ahead and connect these. Well, not that way. And... That looks pretty good. Feature it. If it looks weird, feature it. There. <laughs> so this is a nice one. Uh, decorate it however you want. You got some nice views. That's one design. A bit more modest version of that house would probably be, these are all going to be four high again. Something a bit more like this. I really like this um, corner style, or cornering off. So these are four, and there's three in between. Always three between, unless specifically specified. And connect to those. Next, I'm going to actually do uh, utilize the the sort of flower pot looking design for the uh, bottom floor. So I'm going to do that one. I'm going to do that first. What you do is you have uh, trap doors. You put them on the side. And, and you know, a little, little something. No, uh, no flowers going on. Give me a flower! Yay! Oh, nice. And I'm going to go ahead and take away the middle one, because that's where the window is going to be. Oh, we got collateral inside also. I'll take care of this. Next, you're doing the uh, the squares like before. And 
I'm going to fill in that one because that's going to be the back of the shop. So this is going to be more like a shop. I really like these. It just it just seems so effective and so so elegant and simple. A bit stony, so I'd probably uh, mix it up with a little bit of wood on the floor. I also like placing the door like this so that it adds to the depth. Depth is a pretty cool thing. I've only recently been introduced to. This time we'll start up sideways one or over one instead of directly on top. Do that to both sides. Get them oak stairs out again. And do the uh, a similar roof. I say similar because we might do a little changing up action. But we'll do this like normal. And do that to both sides. Oh, and give it a, a nice topper. Connect it long ways all along here. There you go. A nice, uh, oh yeah, got the front and back. This is going to be a lot like the other place, actually. The, the first one in the line of houses. But this one's going to really help show how uh, you can mix and match. I didn't really do anything to the back. I guess I can do that. That's a pretty nice place. It's like a combination of the first two houses. If you want to give it a floor slash ceiling, I'm going to leave a hole here because this is a little bit more compact. Nice little uh, ladder that goes upstairs. If you're walking by, you'll walk up it, but you'll, you won't otherwise. So that's kind of nice. Let's see. Let's give a nice little uh, <laughs> upside down stair counter. And. What the hey? A nice, a nice thing like that. I'm not the biggest with uh, interior design, so I can't always give the probably the most up to date or amazing ideas, but I get by. Barely. Oh, I bet that looks cool from outside. I gotta take a look. Oh yeah! So another idea is a bit of a more uh, sideways looking model, so we'll go with the uh, let's go with two wide and we'll have the front like this. So one, two, three, four. So five spaces in the middle. There, three, uh, two spaces there, and two spaces here. I'm gonna put one here and put 
one, two, three, four, five. So the sixth one is a sp is one. So it's five in the middle once again. And we're gonna do similar in the back as the front, except I guess we'll do doubles there. But they'll oh, whoops, <laughs> they'll be right right back from those, but they'll all be the same distance. And before we do this one, just remember that it's out one. So once again, five in between. And there would be one there. And bring each of those up four high. Now we're actually going to take out the birch wood because that hasn't had much much time to play yet. And we'll uh, bring these in. We'll kind of recess them. And... A little something like that for each of the openings. And this, these side ones, we connect them. Leave a an opening in the middle. Opening right in the middle. Let's go ahead and uh, go ahead and square these off. Uh, I haven't decided if I want to square these off yet. Yeah, let's go for it. This will be just a back wall. So actually we're going to fill all this in. <laughs> Take the oak wood and uh, connect these. It's kind of nice because it's uh, sort of framing it. Let's get some of that trusty cobblestone out. We haven't used that in a little bit. And we're going to lay down a little sort of uh, bottom thing around here. There, take the cobblestone. Make a little, make the upper part of the uh, outline. Let's put in a recessed oak door, just to make that seem a bit more complete. This is just the, uh, just the bottom, I tells you. We're going to do one of these designs. Make a little A-frame kind of thing. On this part, it's going to go a bit higher. It's nothing crazy. Then we're going to do one of these. I always like this kind of design of like short on the sides but tall in the middle. So we'll do um, the same thing on the other side. And then we're actually going to be making the roof out of oak wood. So 
I left this part open because we're going to do something more to this roof. And I probably should have followed my rule of starting with the high parts first when doing roofs. Roofs, I mean. But whatever. It'll get done eventually. Let's see, we can we can have this go out one. Whoops. <laughs> now the flat piece on top of that. Oh, I didn't need to do that. <laughs> that was supposed to be for the other side. too far over here. Don't want to go too crazy. For these top ones, I might just go a little further out. I might just go crazy. Be insane. And I'll do that cool little flipped up design in the front the stair facing the other way. Yeah, something like that. I'll do that to the other side really fast too. We'll fill in the rest of this. I guess we can just bring the other one in. We'll do the same thing. Over here. All right, so those are some nice roofs, 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 roofs. Just in time to keep the rain out. And, um,. What we'll do for these exposed parts is not that. <laughs> Keep on the inside. Do a little bit of this. This, that, and the other thing. This is just going to make things nice and even. It's going to make for an interesting wood pattern also.
And we're done. Just kidding. Never, never really been the best at interiors. From below. So basically have that, have the uh, birch wood inside. like that. If you come outside, maybe we can get a little bit of that going on. Oops. The same thing on the other side. That's definitely interesting. Little little glass. Never hurt anybody. Actually, that is a false statement entirely. If you ever have glass, <laughs> or it's not supposed to be, that is wrong. All right, that turned out actually very interesting. And finally, we'll do one that's a bit more. Uh, a bit more stone so we can put the stone pillars down those are three apart so are these Keep going three apart, but here's the here's the kicker. We're gonna make this a strange one. We're gonna put them in there, and it's gonna be like a U. Interesting, huh? So each of these is gonna go up four. Now this is gonna be a little bit more two-dimensional for starts. For starts. <laughs> But we're going to do something like this around all the sides. This is just to conserve space inside. Oops. Now our, the frame is going to be done like so. We're going to get the birch out for this one, for this roof. Bring it back. We're going to connect all of these top tiers together. do the uh, standard protocol. It's become standard. Put the stairs down and connect them all. Some of these will be more, a bit more difficult than others.
So that's that's a little tricky. Because we're still going out one. Seems like the standard protocol. Have a roof go out one extra. No reason to change that. Nice. <laughs> so when it rains, it just pours around the. No, we're gonna we're gonna need to do something about that. Let's see if we can uh, make this have a good finish here. There we go. Bit of a bit of a strange style. But sometimes strange is good. Let's get some of that uh, white wool back. I'm going to do a, a checker some checkered action going on. And yep, even for this, we're going to do the, uh, the old standby. To me. <laughs> Since this is a bit of a darker area, perhaps it should have some torches. This this whole place could use some loving torchlight. Oh, I didn't do all of the uh, all of this. Let's give this a nice walkway. Of course we have to furnish the floor. Well, that kind of helps actually. All right, so that's that's a minus that little hole right there. Pretty interesting little place. But anyways, hopefully that, hopefully within all of these, there's at least one idea that struck you as, ooh, that's pretty nice, or something along those lines. All right, thanks. That should get me started. Don't have enough time this episode, but next episode, we're going to put those houses places. We're going to find spots for them, and we're going to dress up this area, and it's going to be nice. It'll be nice. That's all for this time. I'm out. See ya.